Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna update my buy recommendation for ChargePoint stock. The company released quarterly earnings results on December 6th. I've reviewed those and highlighted the big picture items that I think you all should know. And I'm gonna answer if I think the stock is a buy, sell, or a hold. Coming into the quarter, I did not have ChargePoint stock rated as a buy, so you're going to want to tune in to see if I'm changing that recommendation. So without further ado, let's jump right into the earnings results. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so ChargePoint's new CEO, Rick Wilmer, saying that the third quarter execution came up far short of its goals in the face of continued challenging macroeconomic conditions and execution challenges. Remember, just a few weeks ago, ChargePoint came out with the announcement that they were changing the CEO, an abrupt change, it was not planned, and that the third quarter I'm sorry, yeah, the third quarter's results were not going to come in as expected. They were going to be worse than expected. So ChargePoint warned investors don't expect good things in the third quarter. And they delivered on that promise of not delivering a good quarter. So let's go in deeper. The company reiterating its goal of delivering positive non-GAAP adjusted EBITDA in the fourth quarter of calendar year 2024. But even if it hits that goal, yes, it would be progress. But remember, EBITDA is already an adjusted financial metric. They're adjusting an already adjusted financial metric to get themselves to show profitability. So they're going to look at EBITDA, which already excludes some costs. And then they're going to say, but wait, let's exclude these other costs too, so that we can show you that we delivered profit. So it's not really profitability. It's not really operating profitability. It's more like gross profit for ChargePoint when they announce that if they hit that goal, still it would be progress and ChargePoint stock investors should hope that they do hit that target in the fourth quarter of calendar 2024. So I mentioned the third quarter was not a good one. Revenue came in at 110 million, which was down 12% from 125 million in the prior year, same quarter. Now, companies deliver, you know, up and down quarters all the time, but the difference with ChargePoint is that it's operating in a fast growing industry, one that it has continued to highlight telling investors, look how fast this industry is growing. Look how many more charging stations we're going to need because everything is moving towards electric vehicles and we're investing in this growth. In fact, we're losing a lot of money on the bottom line investing in growth, but yet you deliver revenue decrease year over year. That's why this is so disappointing for ChargePoint more so than if it was any other type of company delivering a year over year decrease in revenue. To make matters worse, the gross profit margin was negative 22%. That was worse than 18% from the prior year, same quarter. The company had to take a $42 million inventory charge because they have an oversupply of inventory that customers don't want. They have the wrong kind of inventory, the wrong kind of charging stations. Customers don't want them, at least not for the price that ChargePoint thought they were, and now they need to take a write down to sell these units. I suspect ChargePoint will not be finished taking inventory write downs. I'll talk a little bit more about that a little later in the video. We'll look at how much inventory they have and that could indicate that more write downs are coming. The third quarter net loss was 158 million. That was up from 84.5 million in last year's same quarter. So look at that, they lost 158 million on the bottom line and they only generated 110 million in revenue. So they lost a lot more money than they generated in revenue. That's never a good sign. It's also not a good sign when you nearly double your losses year over year. The company is moving in the wrong direction. As of October 31st, the company had 397 million in cash, but that was after they went to investors and they raised another 233 million by selling more shares of stock. So of course, if they're losing so much money on the bottom line, the money's gotta come from somewhere for them to be losing it. And they keep going back to investors 
they keep going back to you and asking you to give them more money. They keep going back and saying, yeah, I know things are not the way we said they were going to be. Things are not the way we planned. But if you just give us a little more money, then later on things are going to be better. So just please give us, keep giving us more money. And they convinced investors to give them $233 million to continue investing, to continue the growth of the business. And with $400 million in cash, they are okay for at least one or two more quarters. Given the pace of losses, $158 million of losses, and they have $400 million. So at that pace, if they keep at that pace, they've got at least two quarters of runway before they need to go back to investors and ask for more money. But I suspect they will be going back to investors to ask for more money. I don't think this is the end of ChargePoint going to investors and asking for more money. Okay, so now let's dig deeper into the financial statement and see precisely where the troubles are coming from. And I've highlighted here the, the big area of trouble. Networked charging systems decreased from 97.6 million in the third quarter last year to 73.9 million in the third quarter this year. This is the biggest area of decline. Subscription revenue actually increased for ChargePoint, but you need to have those charging stations that will entice people to sign up for subscriptions for ChargePoint's charging stations, right? So they need to get you into the ecosystem. To get you in the ecosystem, they need to sell these charging stations, but they had difficulty in the third quarter with those. And at the same time that the revenue fell in this segment, the costs increased, right? So cost of revenue for network charging systems increased from 85.8 million to 109.4 million, a huge jump in costs at the same time that revenue decreased in that segment. So last year, the third quarter, they actually generated a gross profit in this segment, 97 million in revenue and only 85 million in cost. It's a huge turnaround where the revenue decreased and cost increased and now they're at a huge negative there, 73 million in revenue and 109 million in cost. So big turnaround in the wrong direction for ChargePoint. And this is what I truly don't like to see when a company is struggling and it's losing a lot of money on the bottom line, facing challenges, and at the same time, the spending in general and administrative expenses is increasing. Look at this here. The third quarter general and admin spending increased by 50% from 22 million to 33 million. And that's been the same for the nine months ended, 82 million up from 66 million. General and admin expenses are things like salaries for management, for the CEO, CFO, etc., cetera, uh, corporate headquarters, spending on travel perks and things like that for management. I don't like to see these costs going up by this much when your business is struggling, when your business is losing this money from shareholders, investors are losing money while you're out there, management, you're out there, you're increasing the, that spending. That would really upset me. Now, I'm not a shareholder of ChargePoint stock. If I was a shareholder of ChargePoint stock, this would really upset me and it would get me angry. Like if you're losing so much money and things are so bad, why don't you cut some costs in corporate? Why don't you cut salaries? Why don't you take a pay cut? Why don't you try to trim your perk spending and all that? Don't increase it at least by, don't increase it by 50% when the rest of the business is struggling, when shareholders are losing money. So this, this upsets me when I see this. And um, I think you can hear that in my voice that I'm not happy that the company is doing this, taking um, questionable decisions in the way they're using shareholder money. I mentioned earlier that inventories are still a problem. You could see here they have $199 million in inventory. That was up from $68 million in January. So I'm, they've already taken a $40 million write down because they weren't able to sell a lot of the inventory that they had. I wouldn't be surprised if they have to take another write down. Look at how much inventory is up. It's, you know, it's almost, uh, it's more than double where it was, almost triple where inventory was to begin the year. And now they're facing year, they're facing sales decline and they have tripled the inventory. That's not a good match. And I, I, I suspect there's going to be another write down coming 
for inventories. Thankfully, they do have that $367 million in cash that they raised and their debt of $282 million. Most of that is not coming due anytime soon. So the debt is not an issue just yet. But their operating losses are the issue. They're losing so much money out the bottom line that they're burning through cash quickly. So cash flow from operations, you could see $287 million they've lost so far in the nine months that ended October 31st. And they spent $183 million on inventory. So most of this loss has gone into inventory. And they've already taken a $70 million inventory write down for 2023. And I think more is coming. And that's a really bad sign because that's really what the company is in business to do is, you know, invest and build these charging stations and deploy them and sell them. And that's not what's happening. They're creating these charging stations and whatever they're paying for them and whatever they thought they were going to be able to sell them for, it's not working out. They're not selling them anywhere near the prices that they thought they would be. So this is a critical, critical juncture for the business. And unless they turn this around, unless they find the right formula for building these charging stations and deploying them, the business is going to be in trouble. So okay. ChargePoint stock is now selling at a forward price to sales of 1.1. It's down from a forward price to sales of close to 24. It was trading at around July of 2021. Again, at that time, I was arguing that it shouldn't have ever been this expensive to begin with. And I don't think the stock is a bargain at this valuation either. I don't have the stock rated as a buy, and I would not recommend investors buy the stock. It's yet to figure out the formula for growing the business and delivering economies in scale. It's facing challenges with the slowing macroeconomic environment. The electric vehicle industry itself is facing challenges. This isn't a company that I would want to take a risk in and invest in right now. I understand some investors are attracted because of the cheaper valuation and the massive opportunity in charging station in the charging needs of the country and the world. But you've got to find the company that's doing it effectively and efficiently and can demonstrate that it's going to be successful. I don't think ChargePoint is that company, at least not yet. Now, they did get a new CEO, so let's give that new CEO time to settle in, make some changes, and let's see how the CEO change the, changes the strategy and the execution. And if there is improvement, I'll be the first one to mention that. I'll be the first one to note that the company is improving and moving in the right direction. So I will keep you updated on ChargePoint stock to be sure. But for now, I don't have the stock rated as a buy. I don't think that, that investors should consider this one. I think it's closer to a sell than a hold. Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.